Hey folks, now had you approached me about a week and a half or so ago, I think it was around that sort of time, well let's call it two weeks for argument's sake, <clears throat> and ask me a question, what effects do you think the transatlantic slave trade had on you? I would have give you a list of effects on a corporate and institutional level, but in terms of my personal life, directly to me, I would have said not much, if, if any, if, if any, that's, that's what my response would have been, because I wouldn't really, through, for most of my life, I didn't really consider anything with my psychology or subconscious affected by the slave trade as such. That was, that was my reckoning. Until I watched a video, I really wished I'd used my brain and kept the Figan link at the time. I really, I, I, I missed the trick there. Uh, until I watched a video of this American woman, she was holding a conference. It, it, I couldn't really see what the audio, who, the makeup of the audience because the camera was panned on her while she was on stage. But I get the impression the majority of the audience were white people or non-black people. That's the impression I get. I could see the people at the front, but I could the, the camera didn't pan round to, to, to the rest of us. I couldn't really see, so I could only go on an assumption. But she was then she was talking about the the effects of the slave trade, but she was she wasn't doing the usual rhetoric. Yeah, and only watching that video, I thought, wow, it kind of dawned on me. It dawned on me where I had actually been affected. Now, if you're a person <coughs> who's of slave descendant, i.e. you're Afro-American, Afro Afro-South American, <coughs> I know this is going to sound like a weird term, Afro-European. In terms of, yeah, you, you're, in terms, when I say that, when I say Afro-European, I mean in terms you were born and raised in, in, in Europe, okay? Right, so then this applies to you. If you're pure blood, and that's my own terminology, pure blood, I'm talking, pure blood is what I refer to an African, you know, the, from anyone from the from the continent of Africa. I call them a pure blood, uh, i.e. anyone who's of slave descendant. Um, it's quite likely their um, DNA is that is that right right word? Well, anyway, their they, they DNA would have uh, a lot of mixture in it. It's 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 something that's quite um, common amongst a uh, typical, like say myself, West Indians. It's very common that, like say my great grandmother, my mother's side, she was Portuguese. So it's it's nothing it's nothing unusual for us us Afro Caribbean people. So I would imagine it'd be the same in America. So right, so. Let's let's move on to why the slave trade has affected me personally. What, what, what was my light bulb moment? Now, this lady, she was talking about um, the family unit during the slavery. So she gave an example. So she said, like, so you've got man, woman, and child. And then she said, what what took place during those times was possibly, well, not possibly. The man would have been sold off, so and that woman, fair, therefore, would have lost her husband, or worse, her child would have been sold off, or even worse still, her child and the husband would have been sold off, and she was just left to deal with it. And this woman gave an illustration that if something tragic happened today, something traumatic happened today, like. You survived a plane crash. You was a a, a rape, rape victim, or you witnessed a terrorist attack. Today we have institutes that provides counselling, so that's your aftercare. So she said. So what was the aftercare for the slaves who were uh, emancipated from slavery? You know what was it? Was what was the immediate aftercare for them? She was, there wasn't any, they just had to deal with it. So she gave an illustration, going back to the 
selling of your family members. So the effects it would have had on that woman in terms of psych, sub, um, psych, her cycle, her psychic and her actual personality, the effects, the side effects would be she'd be dysfunctional because you, you've gone through a mental trauma. So she'd be quick tempered. She'd be a broken person. She'd be quick tempered, uh, angry, you know, and so let's fast forward a few years she has another child but she has those traits because that's how she's reacted to that situation therefore that child used the parents as a point of reference so she's taught that trait to the child and so on and so on and so on and so it goes on so how does this affect me now you're asking your question well, one of the traits I've seen with family members and um, sad, <clears throat> sadly with a, a lot of black women, I have to talk about where I'm living. In America, I, I see you, you guys have videos about black women in America, but I don't live in America. I've visited America many times, but I don't live there. So I can't talk about America. I can only talk about where I have experience and where I live. So I'm going to talk about the UK in particular. So if the parallels run with wherever you come from, then, okay, that's my point. So, um, the traits I've seen from the Afro-Caribbean women here, it falls in line with what that woman said. So like the quick temper, easily offended, easily triggered, um, that angry disposition, angry dispo disposition, um, that cold, um, persona. Now, this, of course, does not apply to all. Of course not. Of course not. But, um, so that was, so, 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 <clears throat> so that's the effect. That's, that's, that's the legacy. Because what I found when I was growing up is the black girls to me seem different to all the other girls in school. Not all of them, but a lot of them seem different. They seem to have a kind of angry vibe about them. But the other girls didn't have that angry vibe. And hence why I found since I was a teenager, I've always received a warmer welcome from women outside of my race. And I've always been, um, I've always graduate, um, gravitated to women outside of my race because of that. Because I've always seen more warmth and um a better welcome from outside my race. I've always gravitated to women outside my race. Of course, the black women who were like the other women, I gravitate gravitated towards them too. Hence why the few black women I've dated, they are not like um, your typical black women. You've shut what I'm saying. So, so they're kind of, they're, they're kind of like, you, you call them like the exception to the rule, so to speak, that I have dated the exception to the rule. So, um, so where am I going here? Yeah. So that was, that was always the impression I've had that, you know, this, you know, so I, I, up until a bit, about a week or so ago, let's call it up to two, two weeks. I would have just simply considered the sort of black women that gave off that, that angry vibe. I would have just simply classed them as just unpleasant people unpleasant people that I don't really want to have, to have anything to do with that would have been my simple you know um that 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 was it was just sort of open and cut uh, open and shut um case so to speak excuse me for falling my words I, I think too fast my mouth doesn't keep up so I do stutter and stuff like that so that that they lied a problem until that woman until I watched that woman's video, I thought, wow, shit, shit. Th that was the effect of what took place back then. The snowball effect has, the dominoes effect has rolled all the way to, call it the present day, but let's, in my, in my case, it rolled all the way to the seventies when I was growing up as a kid and into high school. And, I was then affected by that because um, 
if you don't, if, if you react to a certain situation, you are affected by it yourself. Do you see what I'm saying? So the effect that um, the black women's persona had on me was a negative effect. And therefore, um, my actions was according to the impressions I had. So most of my dating decisions was based on that dominoes effect. So that's how I was affected. Now, I'm not going to sit here and, and be all mightier than thou and tell you who and who you should not date because I don't believe in that. I think be you male or female, I believe that you owe it to yourself to find happiness. So if you're a woman, black woman, and you find that white guys treat you better, then I th all power to you. You should go where happiness takes you. Do you see what I'm saying? And, um, and that goes for man as well. So I'm not going to tell you who you should and shouldn't date. That, that's not my job. It's not my responsibility. And I, I quite frankly, I couldn't give a flop. I, I was going to swear. I'm going to try to swear less in my video. I really couldn't give a damn who you date. Honestly, I, I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got more con more things to concern myself about with where you put your penis or what color penis go goes inside of you, right? However, I still, I'm still not attracted to those negative traits. The difference now, I have empathy, but I still don't want a woman like that in my life. But now I'm, I'm more sympathetic to that sort of episode. I'm more, when, when, if I come across a woman wagging her head and that kind of angry vibe and this, the other, I'm not so quick to judge negatively now. Now knowing what I know, I still don't like it. It's still, the, I still find it undesirable, but I'm not so quick to put her down because I now see her as a victim. Yeah. So the long and short of it is the solution, the solution, the solution is if we could identify the problem together, let's try to fix it. So if, if I'm correct, because I could be talking bullshit. I don't know. But this is just my opinion. This is the impression I had from that video. So I could be totally wrong. And I reserve the right to be wrong. But let's just say that I am right for argument's sake. Well, this is obviously a problem. So the problem is identified. So let's fix it. So let's fix it for the next generation. And So let's try our best as a people to stop the dominoes effect. Let's air our problems talk about our problems and deal to fix it. That's what this video is about. This video is about finding solutions to a problem. I'm not going to come on YouTube and just insult people and give no solution. That's bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So by all means, give your opinions. If you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong, educate me. Point, tell me, I mean, it's no good telling me, Ron, you're fucking arsehole. Oh, you're talking shit. That, that doesn't help anybody. If you think I'm wrong, explain how I'm wrong. So I could also learn because I'm here to learn. I, you know, I'm just because I have an opinion or an impression that doesn't mean that it can't be shaped or it can't, I can't be schooled. You see, I'm not so arrogant. I'm open. I'm open for so to learn things and open for suggestions. But that's the impression I got from that video. And that's the impression I have now. Sorry. So there we are. And so if, if you point something out to me that I didn't think of before, then, okay, I'll, I'll consider that. But at the moment now, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it. Well, okay. Yes. They give off a trait you do not like. And I've seen this. Not only that, not only that, not only, not only the women in, in, in school, sadly, with a lot of family members, I've seen that same, the same trait. This also goes towards female family members, and that also played a part in my reaction, in, especially in, in the in the dating world. So there, there we are. Okay, sorry for this video being longer than I expected, but I thought I had the points I had to make were quite important. So um, just let me let, let me know what you think, and um. I hope, I hope we can sort something out. I hope I hope something can can be sorted out. 
for the sake of the youngsters, you know, I can't have any more children, all my children, uh, apart from one, all my children mixed race, and I can't have any more children, um, yeah, because I was diagnosed with prostate cancer and, and I had a radical prostatectomy operation come up for a couple of years ago. So my my um my work on earth is done in terms of off offspring. But in terms of me mentioning mixed race or whatever, um let me just say something. The value of a human life trumps that of tradition and um uh racial issue so a human life is more valuable than so i i so i'm kind of i'm basically um slapping myself or, or in the face for even mentioning mixed race children i don't i don't even know why you i should why that was even relevant because a human life is more more important than than tradition okay so thank you very much and um have a great day okay bye